unmuting. Let's go ahead and boop. Oh, wrong one. There we go. All right. So hopefully uh, we get to do a little exploring and then we get into the end game. Bastard will not shut up. Stinky baby. Stinky baby, yes. <laughs> there we go. Huh. All right, what's over here? There we go. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Okay. Oh, that's just a shortcut to up here. I'm still chuckling to myself over that massive room filled with uh, succubi disguised as Yoko. know he sees Yoko as a 10 out of 10. I mean, she is. What am I? Why do I feel like that's a loaded question? <laughs> <laughs> it's only loaded if you don't know the answer. <laughs> answer truthfully, you dork. I'd say you're a 10 out of 10 as well. Oh, that's really, yeah. And I'm, I'm guessing since oh. I said answer truthfully, then that is your truthful answer. Yeah. And I'm not just saying it to like boost your confidence or to save my own ass or anything. I, I do, I do mean it. I know. You're, you're a very sweet guy. <laughs> Speaking of Yoko. Of the, <laughs> that was the thing of the spy family uh, meme edit where it was like, uh, it was like the girl's like trying to flirt with a guy and he just kept talking about his girlfriend. Oh, like, yeah. Are you thinking? My girlfriend. What's your type? My girlfriend. What about me? I don't think I can. What about your girlfriend then? It's that meme. That meme. <laughs> it's like, yep, yep, yep. Oh, hi, Soma. Are you getting homesick? No, not especially. Why do you ask? It's no use to lie. You haven't seen Mina in a long time. I bet you really want to see her badly. Oh, what are you saying? This isn't <laughs> the time for that sort of thing. <laughs> yep, blushy, blushy Soma. Look, so Soma knows what he likes. And what he <laughs> likes is girl. <laughs> I knew you'd get all in about this. I hit the bullseye. <laughs> so my best tsundere. <laughs> not God, not just one scene of the girls pretty like me where it's Soma. <laughs> There's like girls pretty and it's just it's just Soma having an absolute breakdown. <laughs> Cause he can't handle like <laughs> you put on a spot like that. <laughs> But you wouldn't fight for Mina unless you felt that strongly. Makes me feel a little envious, even. So, how can I help you today? Right, nice segue. Let's not talk about this again, ever. <laughs> like, I could totally imagine Soma being that type to pull that. 
finally got the Mr. Key in Final Fantasy 1! I can... I finally got all that good stuff! You have the Worm Killer! Trident was crafted. Like... <laughs> I, I couldn't give Draco the Worm Killer because he already had a Mithril Sword. So I gave you the Worm Killer. You are the Dragon Slayer. Yep. Balmung, motherfucker. All right. Uh, I got the trident, so let's see how that goes. Ah, there it is. Uh. I mentioned the Obliterator to you last night in, like, synopsis of, uh, Ico's Final yeah. Fantasy X stream. You don't know what that thing is, do you? Uh, yeah. not off the top. You know, uh, you know those, like, uh, automatic baseball launchers, right? Yeah. Imagine if that was used for Blitzball, but also had the firing power of a tank. Okay, yeah, I can see that. Which is also a very easy boss to cheese, because uh, there's a crane there. If you use Lulu's thunder on the crane enough to where it turns on and then use the crane, you tear the thing in half. Okay, that's actually pretty funny. Yeah. Ten, Ten has some creative ways of dealing with annoying bosses. Actually, wait. There's that one room back there that I can look into. I'll wash my dishes. Equipped. Uh, let's switch to paranoia. Tear of blood. Looks really good, you could but hear him, right? Luck. Yeah, I heard him. He's being a stinky baby. I'm suddenly reminded of that one uh, episode of Friends where I forget which one it was that had to audition as a musician. But their song was about a smelly cat. I'll have to look that up. I want to say it was Phoebe who did that, but I can't remember for sure. Right, uh, let's see if I go through subterranean hell. There's that one section over at the bottom left that I haven't gone through yet. I 
I just killed a dead pirate with a trident. The power of Poseidon compels you! over this way. Ow. Okay, what do I have for souls? Let's switch over to back company. Just when I thought I had this place figured out. Don't you ever calm down, Lance? Uh. There we go. I'm getting a lot of falcons. Ow. Uh, to do. Wait, I'm an idiot. do this ability turn that off Just when I thought I had it figured out. Huh. Actually, another idea. If I do Nope, 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 nope. Ah. 
dang it. Nope. The idea was there, but I guess I don't have what I need to go through there. Oh, come the fuck on. Ah. And I can't turn into a bat underwater, so... some rusty food pins because apparently with the ghoul soul uh, that is effectively a full heal Lance get out of there Lance I can grab a few more. Oh, kitty merp. He is absolutely psychopathically energetic right now. Like he Zumi's level energetic? Save me from his Zoomy! Save me! He's gonna destroy the house with his unyielding energy! Together where you have to deal with both me and Lance. <laughs> like I said, once you move in, I'm locking you and him in a room together. You deal with him. I'm trying to get more rusty food tins. There we go. Don't you know that's how cats operate? Yeah, he, he's just laying down. Oh, so, someone in the server I'm in posted a uh, Reddit post saying, You know what crazy was those Tropagos from the top down look like a dream catcher? Ah, yeah, yes! I kind of see it. Uh, I'll share the post because, uh, I'll share like the image of the post because it shows them side. It shows Tropico side by side with a dream catcher. And yeah, it fucking does! 
All right. Look like a dream catcher. Ooh, actually, before I do anything, I want to restock on some supplies. Time to go visit Hammer. Speaking of supplies, I think most of my time uh, in... I'm playing fun right now. In Final Fantasy 1 today is just going to be just grinding. Yeah. Tis sadly what the game is for. Is that is from that era where grinding was essential. Thank goodness you weren't playing the NES version where you have to buy each individual item one at a time. I've had over there stuck in my head since halfway through my walk. And I just want it to stop. Uh, let's see what I can sell. The Crease Naga fetches a pretty penny. As does the Frog Rock. And I've got nine Falcons, so that's a lot of money. I just noticed the Great Sword looks like the um, Dragon Slayer Sword from Berserk. Like, oh, oh, right. I need to actually, like, uh, I'll need to actually share the screen with you, but, uh, let's see. Give me a second. But there, you you see the um, you see the sword on the the bottom screen. Give me a sec, so I can watch. <laughs> Let me send this to you, son. Just give me a sec to look. Like, it's kind of a low-res sprite, but... Okay. I'm now... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, no, I see it. Let's see. Okay. I saw. Yeah. I came! <laughs> okay. Bush, bush, this. Never sure how to pronounce that. But I knew. It, it's in your DMs. Alright, let me take a look. And now, <laughs> First. <laughs> it is beautiful. Is it not? <laughs> okay, they, they the the internet talks about 
uh, Neko arc as a as a gremlin little creature or whatever, but I think it's adorable. It, it does also remind me of the time that I was walking home from grocery store, was co-coming, you were off, so I just started singing Kuro Neko. <laughs> Good and got the pancake, it's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was literally just the word Koroneko. I was just singing it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I'm not a cat girl, though. I don't, I don't know why I was singing it. I'm not one of them cat girls. <laughs> totally credible claim from the source itself. Oh, oh hello. Oh, Hopper. That's a regular you, drop. YouTube. Oh, looks like YouTube has once again discovered the travesty that was Bible Man. Oh God! <laughs> Where are they getting? A every in? few years, every few years, YouTube uh, animate like YouTube cartoon reviewers discover it and are like, "This is literally the worst thing I've ever seen." It's like, yes, you say that every few years. Ow. Uh, so, no work today? Hopefully not. I wasn't supposed to have any yesterday, but I got called in. So perhaps we can watch stuff. Oop. What are you doing? Uh, stretching while rubbing my face. You've heard me stretching, you've heard me rub my face, now you've heard what what I got what unearthly sounds emerge from my mouth as I do both. Trembling fear. As I sound, as I sound like an anime Neko, like dying of a, of asphyxiation. Actually, uh, what soul do I have equipped? Ghoul. Excellent. Uh, use a couple high potions. Just me flying through. I'm a bat. Don't mind me. Butterfly in the sky. I can fly twice as high. Take a look. It's in a book. Reading Rainbow. <sighs> I remember as a kid being so surprised <sighs> that it turns out the, the guy hosting Reading Rainbow was the same guy that played Geordi LaForge in uh, Star Trek The Next Generation. I say, I say. All right. Uh. That's a better book. 
Okay, so. Yeah. 81. Got it. All right. Got to go in prepped for this fight. Uh. Okay. Okay, Lance. I see three paws hanging over the edge of that box. <laughs> what shape have you put yourself in? What unearthly shape is my cat currently taking up there where I can't see? He is becoming a vessel for Cthulhu. Oh my god. That is every cat. Every cat desires the, desires for the return of their dark lord. Alright. Time to engage the boss. <laughs> what took you so long? <laughs> Let's finish this. I'll show you why you can't become the Dark Lord. <laughs> Even Belmont was no match for me. You think a punk like you can win? Was there ever any doubt? Power is nothing if you don't know how to use it. I'll never lose to a fool dominated by his own power like you. Well, what's the point of power if you don't use it? Don't act as if you know. It's about survival of the fittest. Let's see you try to survive this time. Oops. Truly the most terrifying. Ooh. Oh. Uh. Oof. Actually, I think I'll go through this fight two ways. I'll go through the ways that basically gets you a bad ending and then I'll go for the natural method that's supposed to get you the true ending. Oh, it's just four walls. I mean, I don't really need to waste any room. I don't need to use any spell slots on these guys. They're walls. They die to any attack I do. Oof. I'm kind of sad that this version of Final Fantasy 1 doesn't have an in-game beastery. Yeah, no, I think that's only available either in the... Wait, no, it does! It does have one. It's in the collections. You can see how much energy wolves can actually take. 20. The crazy horses have 64 HP? Yeah, beefy little things. Oop. Huh. I cut off the power from the dark side using a magic seal. Also, notice. I had no hand in that one. That one was completely automatic. <sighs> Give up. It's over. B but... Get away from him, Soma! No! He couldn't resist the demon that had fused with his soul. You're saying he lost to the demon's power? He perhaps could have been saved if the demon was cut free from his soul, but don't let it concern you. That's just what happens when you let your hunger for power overwhelm you. Adikado, what became of Celia? I'm sorry. We have units tracking her whereabouts now. Uh, so we're done here. Let's get out of here. Damn. What's wrong, Soma? N nothing. I just felt something odd for a moment. Hmm. Did anything strange happen in the castle? No, nothing. Wait! Come to think of it, when I fought Dimitri, there was something weird. Go on. I never finished him off, but he died anyway. And that's when I felt something enter me, like... 
a soul under domination. We'll have to investigate. Come, we'll meet with Yoko right away and head for the church. Is something happening to me? I don't know, but we'll know soon enough. And I believe that is the bad ending. I mean, that didn't seem so bad. Well, not on its face, but I guess the implications actually make it a bad ending. Uh, let's see. Is there anything that happens if I speed through the, the credits? But yeah, this, this is basically the bad ending because we never actually caught Celia. So. All right. Okay. Do I have a Dia spell? All right, so. No, I have yet to get a, have yet to get a single damaging spell on my white mage. Uh, <laughs> I believe you can get that in Elfheim. You can, but... My priorities with my white mage have always been to get the healing magic first. That, I mean, that's Foremost. fair enough. That's fair enough. Just makes me useless in, like, combat scenarios. Oops. Unless my healing is needed. What's my gold? My gold looks pretty good. Shame that, the, that each level 5 spell costs 5,000 fucking gold. Us thing. That's really what I'm grinding for at this point. What levels and the money to get those spells. Cool bars. Cobra, 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 Okay, let's see. Uh. <laughs> I had to dig into my spaghetti reserves. I your spaghetti reserves? Where yeah. Will, where will you get the spaghetti now? to fire to all of these wolves once I get a turn. Ow. Once these wolves let my party get a goddamn turn, Jesus Christ. Yeah, no, that's my biggest gripe about uh, Final Fantasy 1. Not even necessarily a fault of the game itself, but the fights where there are lots of enemies, like... Yeah. And actually, they made that a bit more of a challenge to deal with in the Pixel Remaster, from what I remember. Uh, let's see. Oh, well, you'll, you'll find out once we do the White Mage only run. Which you all can get by subscribing. Because that's our 100 sub goal. It is, it is also the only class you haven't done a solo run for yet, other than I think Knight. Yeah. I 
forgot the wolves could just run away. That's so cheap. Some of the enemies can uh, run away if uh, you're a much higher level than they are. That's so cheap. I just I get to do anything to that wolf. I need to only get one level 5 spell for my white mage and one for my black mage because I feel like having the life spell is going to be essential going forward. Yeah. Let's see. Stop short. Right. Worthless weapons. That's what they sell here. And done. Agony. Create a pillar of fire that races along the ground. What did you do, punk? My power! It's gone! I destroyed the demon that fused with your soul. And your power with it. My... My power! Having power doesn't mean you can abuse it. Haven't you learned your lesson? <laughs> you are much more than I had imagined. I came as I promised. Let's stop this stupid chase. Very well, I can agree to that. Fire three is going to be. You don't seem to be too concerned about this. It's as if you knew this was going to happen. Well, who am I to say? But there is more than one way to make a Dark Lord. You don't give up, do you? There aren't any more Dark Lord candidates. That may be true, but the game isn't over just yet. The center of the castle. I shall await for you there. Another trap? I thought we were going to end this. Trust me, we will. But first, there is something that I wish you to see. I shall be waiting. Alright, uh, what's over here? The fifth magic seal. Hexagon, okay. can do that. Alright. So, do to do, do, save slots. We I'm a bat. I'm a bat, I'm a bat, I'm a bat, 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 I'm a bat, I'm a bat, I'm a bat, 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 I'm a bat, I'm a bat, I'm a bat, 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 flying over your head.
Uh, let's see. Mushusu. Uh, what does Mushusu do again? It's a blue soul, so... Grows a poisonous tail. Okay, that's it. Damage boosting saves lives! Alright, over this way... If we get any new dialogue for um, let's see. Hi, Soma. What's wrong? You look unhappy. Both the Dark Lord's candidates are gone, but Celia's not done. She's still planning something? That does sound ominous. Yeah. But I'm gonna see her like she wanted. If I don't, I won't know what she's scheming. That's true, but you be careful, you hear? Thanks, Yoko. So, how may I help you today? Alright, let's see... And we're going to get over here from Hammer. Uh, let's see.
guess I could just warp over there. I forget if that's the outright end of the game or... So now that I actually have the uh, the seal for this one, okay. Huh, Mina, Sama. Soma Cruz, behold, the last moments of your loved one's life. Wait! Stop! Soma. Mina! You? You heartless wench! It certainly wasn't easy spiriting her away. Go ahead. Hate me. You hate me enough to wish death upon me, don't you? You... You'll pay for this! The power of chaos is gathering. I was right. Now hate me more. When your hatred peaks, the new Dark Lord shall emerge. Oh, oh, that's actually an evil-looking Soma. If it means getting Mina's revenge, I'll do it. Make me the Dark Lord. Mina, forgive me. I can't honor your wish. It's coming. The birth of the new Dark Lord. Oh! Wh why? I brought you back into this world. Shut up. You annoy me. That's all the reason I need. Besides, the petty little humans will die off soon enough. Your turn came a little earlier, that's all. <laughs> so, Soma has become the Dark Lord. I have no other choice. The battles of the past are to be waged once again. I had assumed that he would have equipped the talisman for Mina. It would have protected him. But alas, I will have to unleash my power. Julius mode has been unlocked. Okay, so that was another bad ending we could have gotten. But if we rewind and we equip the talisman as he said. <laughs> huh? Mina! Soma, Soma Cruz, behold, <gasps> the last <laughs> moments of your loved one's life. For the most part, I believe this dialogue is the same, 
except oh, I'm not sending it. And now who's Soma, don't be fooled. Huh? Uh, that Mina is a fake. Uh, 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 Arikado, why must you always get in the way? I can't go How clever of you to use a doppelganger. Ah, uh, but you haven't won just yet. Ugh. What? What's wrong? And all the darkness and chaos energy is gathering in the fake Mina. Huh. Dimitri? Even Celia is surprised. Mm. Ugh. I should thank my lucky stars for making good my escape. I managed to loosen myself when the boy's emotion shifted momentarily. Mm. I thought you died. Shedding my former body was a desperate gamble, but it has worked out quite well. You copied the power of dominance from Soma? Ah, so you understand. I touched the boy's soul and copied his ability. And I have been doubly lucky in finding a suitable replacement for my body. You obtained the same power as Soma Cruz? When I fought the boy, I confirmed one thing. Dracula's heir need not be an inheritor of the Dark Lord's power. I only need to possess the same ability to become the true Dark Lord's heir. And of course, only I could gain that ability. I won't allow that. Have patience, Arikado. Or perhaps I should address you with your real name. When the boy began his dark transformation, I scanned memories of his past lives. Make one move, and the boy will die. You don't wish that, do you? <laughs> Does becoming the Dark Lord really mean that much to you? I've told you before, I wish to learn what my power signifies. Celia, I must gain dominance over more powerful demons. I will surpass the boy. So be it. Soma Cruz, I take back what I have said to you. It seems that death is your only destiny. Arikado, where do you think they've gone? I imagine that they've gone to the basement of the tower next to the castle. A foul, unearthly energy emanates from there. There must be a portal to the dark side that fuels the castle's existence. I see. Don't do anything rash. You're not in any shape to fight now. Let us handle this. His power is mine. I must be the one to stop him. Fine. But Julius and I will go in first. And I believe... I believe we know where that is. All right, now put the uh, put the nuggies into the oven. All right, let's see. Over here, it's the dark chapel. Kill the ogres, you um. Kill the ogres, nah. Uh, actually, if I go up through here. Excuse me. Uh, let's 
let's go to the top of the condemned tower. In this way, we drop all the way down. Ooh, while we're here, Uh, what is up here? Tasty meat. Could definitely use that. Ow. Break this barrier. Definitely possible, but there's no guarantee that I'll have energy left to fight. Without your power, it's impossible for us to get through. They have to be stopped at all costs. Well, I suppose this is an emergency. Fine. Stand back. Here goes. I'll use my one main sleeping bag just to heal up the little damage I've taken while grinding <laughs> in the field. Also, let me save. <laughs> that face, but Julia's yelling, "Yeah!" <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna save that screenshot. Yes! Track. Game over, yeah. Ugh. Game over, yeah. <laughs> what? What? The uh. barrier. It's gone. I'm sorry. Go already. There's no time for chit chat. Right. And he just walks into the hole. He doesn't even bother jumping. He just walks into the hole. Soma. Growing old is a horrible thing. I should know, because in a few weeks, I'm going to be 34. Yeah. Just relax. Don't worry. We'll take it from here. All right. I'm counting old on you. Fart. <laughs> yep. Don't let me down, kid. Whoop. Down we go. The Mine of Judgment. Whoa, okay. That's a new enemy. Oh, I know what I can get you for your birthday. What? Some false teeth. Uh. You, you groan, but you know that would be a pretty good gag gift. That would be a pretty funny gag, I will admit. And we've got the classic Castlevania enemy, Slagra. Wait, hold on. As you can say that uh, fighting them is a real slog, huh? Eh. Uh. So this Mind of Judgment is basically the Condemned Tower, but flipped upside down, I notice. Ah! Tanjali. Ooh, the Slogrosol throws spears. That's a lot less impressive than it sounds. Actually, there's a... 
another room over here. Aha! Uh, let's see. I want to check that thing in the wizardry lab because it's driving me nuts. Alright, there's some gym clothes. Summon a bouncy slime. Oh. Right. So I have to somehow get through that one corridor, except I'd be underwater where I can't transform into a bat. Back to the mine of judgment. <clears throat> oh, that's a big snail. Giant slug, even though that's clearly a snail because it has the shell. Aha, so over here would be... Except, oh, 
There's a familiar Castlevania face. Tis death. Back for the other low Ooh. Magic, black All right, magic, phase. Black oh, jeez. I forgot about that attack. Okay, so we've clearly entered phase two of this fight. Oh, right. I forgot he could do that. Uh, Finish off my spaghetti reserves. Uh, 
let's see. He's not moving around as much as I thought he would be with a big room like this. I guess all the movement was uh, used in his first phase. Okay, uh... Dang it. Okay, hold on. Ah. Dang it. Kind of glad I have safe states, but at the same time, so I guess I just had a up, 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 up. Nope, I didn't quite get it. Ah. Dang it! Oh, timer's so fast on this one. There we go. Summon the Grim Reaper Scythe to attack enemies. Okay, before we go any further, gonna go back to the save point. Safe stating, just in case. Oh. Hmm. I guess we got a whole new area to explore. The Abyss. This seems like a pretty volcanic kind of area.
Oh, geez. Do, 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 do. Oh, that looks cool. That that just looks like the color cover of a freaking heavy metal album or something. <laughs> like I don't even know what that that is supposed to convey. But it looks metal as fuck. Mm. Oh, in another room. Okay. Also, ears expelling sand. So does that mean sand is earwax? Ooh, hello, what's this? The hippogriff. Uh, press up L to jump higher. Ooh, that is very good. That is very good indeed. I have a feeling... Mud Demon. Prevent loss of mobility even in sand. Ooh, that's a good one to have. Ooh. Okay, down we go here. And it looks Hello? like we're, it looks like we're in a freezer area. Oh, hey, MSO. Yeah. 
Also, they are going really intense with the with the over effects. Ooh. Oh, we gotta summon our enemy. We gotta. It's like, yeah, we couldn't use all these in the uh, anywhere else, so let's just go overboard. Yep. Oh, jeez, I was not paying attention to my health there. That went. That drained. Oh, yeah, you, so yeah, you got a uh, you got an evening stream later. Uh, that's the plan. Assuming I don't get called into work again, I'm still mad about that. Oh, well, I was going to say, yeah, I guess after your evening stream, we can do the raid. Because around that time, uh, it should be active. <laughs> at least for uh, at least for us, that is. Oh, uh, yeah. Hisuian Typhlosion, you said, yeah? Yeah, with Fire Terror type. That's why we're going to try Cookie's idea of uh, the... Basically, the water variant of the Flare Blitz Tauros. Ooh. Interesting. Let's see if that... Let's see if that happens. I mean, the only changes that have to be made is uh, instead of let's see, I forget what Pokemon it is, but basically a Pokemon that has Drizzle, ah. which would be, I guess, Politoed. and well, the actual Water Bull itself. And if that doesn't work, we have other options. Okay, down we go. Still in the freezer area. <clears throat> oh, geez. Final guard. Okay. You know what? I could just bypass him by turning into a bat. Haha, <laughs> sticking a fork in your ass. There we go. Uh, MSO. Mm -hmm. At one point, I believe it was in the demon guest house, I encountered an iron golem. It seemed like only. It seemed like uh, I can only ever do one damage to it, no matter what attack I. Oh do. yeah. You know about yeah. That? In order to in order to defeat those, you need a. Um, I don't know what soul it is, but it appeared in one spot, if I remember correctly, just one spot in the other game, Aria of Sorrow. Yeah. How you beat that is, um... Oh, right, right. In Aria of Sorrow, you need to use the Killer Mantle, because what that does is it deals damage based on an enemy's MP. Right. And since it has no MP, yeah. Because it has, like, maximum defense. In this game, I forget what you're supposed to use for that. Because there are no killer mantles, if I remember correctly, so... Yeah, so... Yeah. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. I still like this screen. It looks like the cover of a metal album. It's so hardcore. Oh, that's a wall. Okay. Oops, wrong button. That was an Arrhenius. Right. And if I remember right, this particular fight 
Oh, okay then. Alright, so, uh... So apparently... I love it. Someone in this uh, one message board was like, too bad there's no killer mantle in this game. And someone said, there is. It's called the Imp. <laughs> Let's right! See right! I have the Imp. My setup, is, my setup is Puppet Master plus Skeleton Ape on one set, an Imp plus Dead Pirate on the other. Enter a room, toss the puppet behind the golem, switch sets, activate Imp, and use the Terror Bear or Kaiser Knuckles. It'll go down after eight quick successive hits. Huh. All right. You might you might have to send me that in DM so that I can ping it or pin it. All right. Uh, if I remember right, this is a particularly annoying fight. There you go. Here we go. Abaddon. Yeah, he Abaddon, though. Ah. Uh, so, pay attention right, to his... Damn right, you better laugh. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. So, pay attention to his cane, because he wields it like a baton, and he directs his locusts to attack. Oh yeah, didn't you? Don't you need his soul for something in the uh, upper area? Because was, if I remember right, wasn't there a door with his uh, logo on it? I forgot Not logo, about his image. I mean, I forgot about that. Uh... Fortunately, I forget what's beyond the door, so I can't exactly tell you if it's good or not. Well, let me. Uh, actually, I might as well look uh... it up. I guess I'll switch to Malachi. The Malachi seems to be a pretty good counterattack for dealing with these. Oh, and... Oh, yeah, we never showed off the game over screen. Well. Do, do, do. Uh, I believe I have. Oh, there, there they are. Okay. I was worried for a second because I was like, did I not stock up on the rusty food tins? Well, for some weird reason, I can't find where the, uh, I can't find anything about, like, what's beyond the door or something. Maybe it was a different soul you needed, not his, but from what I'm seeing here, uh, you can use his soul to, <coughs> uh, to, um, I lost my place here. You can use it to create uh, the ultimate repair, Val or Valmanway. 
And yeah, that it is actually a pretty good sword because basically when you attack, it's just like a blade animation in front of you. Like he's not even moving his hands or anything. It's it is it's definitely one of the best ones. Oh, so it's like uh Graham from Symphony of the Night. Oh. But yeah, it is actually really it's really good though. But as far as Yeah, also known as uh Chrysogrim. Chrysogrim, yeah. So that might I was gonna say, yeah, that might have uh that might ring bells, uh, ring a few bells. It's a little bit better than, uh, yeah. There you go, Papa. Ooh, hello. Okay, watch your claws, cat. Watch your claws. Uh, high potions. There's not really much to say. Not really. Just gotta pay attention to uh, how he swings the cane to guide the locusts. And I'm trying to figure out what those uh, doors require. There we go. Okay. Actually, wait, now that I think about it, I think... <sighs> Dang it! I think paranoia was was actually beyond the doors, now that I think about it, so you don't uh, even... I did get paranoia. There we go. Well, yeah, you, you would have had to have in order to get to where you're at get right this now, far, yeah. So. Yeah. Let me try... Let me try looking that up, because maybe... Abaddon summon a cloud of locusts to swarm foes. Okay. Uh... Let's go ahead and equip it, and let's see how we can do. Costs 40 MP to use. Oh, that's good. Oh! Black Panthers, okay. Okay, yeah, there are three red walls. Axe armor, killer clone, and Ukabak. Okay. I don't know why I thought Abaddon was one of them, but yeah. Maybe there but yeah, is... those those doors uh, lead to paranoia, which, yeah, you clearly you've already done, so. Yep. As a... Kotetsu, okay. Did someone mention paranoia? Yeah, check your mirrors. <laughs> Malakota, attack with a tail. Ain't that not lying about. These Aranyas just love giving me their melons. <laughs> I don't know why a melon is what they drop. You know exactly why. 
Oh, there's the iron golem. Okay. Uh, right. So for you know, so you know. Yep. So you're gonna want puppet master skeleton and ape on one set, and puppet. then imp and dead pirate on the other. Puppet master skeleton ape. I should have that somewhere. I do not have it. I'm not sure why Skeleton and Ape is on this, but I think. Oh, maybe it, maybe it boosts power or something. But I probably something do you about. At least have, uh, I have Bat Company, so. Okay, well, do you at least have uh, Imp and Dead Pirate? Uh, I believe I do. That was yeah. That was supposed to be on the other set. Okay. Uh, there's the Imp. And it's a yellow soul, isn't it? There it is. Yep. Okay. It just keeps moving backward. Take eight hits. So I don't oh know wait, what the... maybe, maybe it's because of the weapon I'm using. No, it didn't say anything about the weapon. It was. Uh... I thought oh, you said. Oh wait, and you and use Terror Bear or Kaiser Knuckles. Yeah, okay, I don't yeah. have those. So. I did see some people mention uh, Valmon Way. So, if you want to get rid of uh, Abaddon, or if you're willing to sacrifice Abaddon, there you go. Actually, I that, mean, that gives me an idea. Well, that's assuming you have the souls to actually make the uh, there it make is. the thing anyway, because yeah. There we go. There was the idea. Uh, oh, nice. Also, those black panthers are pretty good because of uh, giant slug. Finally, travel. nullified poison. <laughs> I mean, essentially, no. And there's the Black Panther. Move at high speed while creating a shockwave. Yeah, that is that is such an awesome movement spell. It's just uh, like a constant dash. Uh, let's see. I mind up. Yeah, is, isn't there an item that you could use that powers up uh, the more of the map you filled out, or am I thinking Portrait of Ruin? Um, I thought there was something to that extent in this one, but... Oh, geez. Okay, the, the white dragon actually kind of scared me. Rawr. I'm spooky. Okay, there's the warp point. Yes, finally. Um... I think I'll go ahead and... Head back to the Lost Village and resupply.
<laughs> I was just reminded of that bit from Hercules. All we need now is a plague. <laughs> All we need now is a plague of locusts. See a locust jump up. That's it. I'm moving to Sparta. Oh, hi, Soma. I've been meaning to ask you this, but... What is it? How far have you gone with Mina? Wh what? What are you talking about now? What? <laughs> well, Mina's like a little sister to me, so it makes me wonder. Well, then ask her yourself as if you were her older sister. And rather than worrying about others, why not worry about yourself? Ouch. That one stung a little. Uh, but you're right. In this line of work, I don't get to meet too many... Wait, this isn't about me. That's why you shouldn't pry, right? You're right. I don't get to meet too many. I don't. I don't get to meet too many, buddy. Uh, lady, hammers right across the street. <laughs> You're right. I guess I have too much time on my hands. Sorry. So, uh, how may I serve you? I love some of these interactions. So are you actually going to go about making the uh, Velman way, or are you just more perusing? Uh, I'm, right now I'm just looking at what I can do, but... Because, uh... yeah, there is a bit of a tree you're going to have to go through. Yeah, well, I guess we can do that next... Uh... I guess we can do that yeah, next stream, because we're about time. Oh, hold on. Finally new finally new dialogue from Hammer. Soma. When we get out of this, we should throw a party. You bring me now, okay? What? A party? Yeah. And you know, you can invite Yoko too. So you can be with Mina. And I quit daydreaming and get back to work. Yeah, yeah. You have no sense for romance at all. Dot dot dot. <laughs> I love so, her. unpopular opinion, because I haven't actually mentioned it during this, or... Wait, see, you you did Portrait of Ruin at one point, right? Uh, no. Oh, okay, well... Eh, I guess I'll just mention it now, since this is, I think, where this first shows up. I'm not sure which game came out first, but either way... Yeah. Maybe a slight hot take. I'm actually not really a fan of the anime portraits. I actually, I really, I don't know, maybe it's just because I love Arya it, so much, but I love the portraits they did in that one. It's definitely... Just the style in general. Go it's ahead. definitely a change of pace. Hmm. Oh, there's the brass knuckles, there's the Kestis. Like, it's not even because I'm not a fan of anime <coughs> or anything, it's because I just... I guess it's just because I love the Arya style more. Yeah. I just the, love the game in general more, the, really. Yeah. The Arya art style is definitely unique. Hmm. And in a good kind of... in a good way. Like it's definitely, <laughs> it's definitely recognizable, definitive. Mm -hmm. Oh, an MSO. Uh, I don't think you were here for this, but I actually did go through some of the uh, alternate endings to uh, get this far. Oh, alrighty, cool. So no need to go through that later. Uh, there is that lower left part of the map that I'm that is still driving me crazy on how to access. Like I guess I got oh, that down, that down there. Yeah. Oh, the bottom left. Uh, hmm. The the problem is um, basically I am blocked by a passage of spikes, but the ceiling is too low, and I've also got to be underwater. Okay, I think I know what you're talking about there. All right. Um, hmm. uh. But yeah, I'm not entirely sure. At least at the moment, how to get through there. But I can. I right, shot a pirate. Uh, tell you what, I'll be there in just a minute before I end it off, since the uh, since the save point isn't too far from there. Well then. 
This was fun. Yeah. How do I... This was a this was a fun time I support. <sighs> Did I? I did, good. Wanted to make sure I respawned. Let me, uh, let me a ba ba ba. Alright, uh, over this way by the waterfall. Ah oh, man, Abaddon makes things so much easier. All right, so, uh, right ability. Let's turn off uh, Rehab. <laughs> Actually, I th think that's all you have to do. Is what you're doing right now. Yeah, it's just a matter of okay. like actually getting through there okay so what you do right there turn off rahab yep it's then off. turn it then turn it back on while moving to the left a little bit because then you should go under the platform really that's all it is i thought that was the case but then i tried it and then i kept clipping the spike there's also bow and arc i'm not really sure what that does but someone's <laughs> right yeah. bow and arc. i forgot about that Summon a skeleton to provide transportation. Well, I don't think you're—I don't think I, you're meant to do it there, but I forgot oh. about that. Never mind. Okay, that works. Oh, but you might want to turn Rahab back on because I don't know when it's gonna. Okay, you're safe. Yeah, but you I'm... might want to turn the soul back on just in case you don't want to forget. Actually, mm... oh, never mind. Yeah, you're gonna want it off. I what guess. the heck is that? Oh, the homunculus, I believe it's called. Never mind. I guess I'm going a little longer. Um, no. let's go. Yep. Let's well, congrats. The... You're now in the secret area of the wizard lab. Now you know what they were making down here. Well, I mean, alchemy and. Uh... Ooh, Serenity Robe. You floofy ball. Uh, it doesn't you really do much ball. of anything for for my stats. No, but no. My bow. Also, the way these guys are... The way these guys' faces look, they kind of remind me of the Mega Man ZX enemies. Alright. You can't get me. Oh, no! He can't get me! He can't get me! Are you the fluffiest prince? Super potion. Huh. Yep, we're at time. Monster capsule number four. Yeah, I'll go. I'll go a little further, and then I'll. There we go. Another homunculus soul. Okay, and all that does is um, is it summons a homunculus and stuff. What's funny though is it's called. Um, apparently, its name is called Capsule Monster Four, and the, the funny thing is, there aren't a, there isn't a one, two, or three in this game, but there is a one, two, and three in Symphony of the Night. That's. Interesting. So it's almost so it's almost like this one sort of like a reference to the other three because it's like oh this is like the fourth one. But then ah. again, it's then again the other ones in Symphony oh. of the Night they basically summon monsters to fight for you anyway. So yeah. Oh okay. So the ghosts are lighting the way. I mean, alternatively, you could use that one soul that lets you shoot straight up. And you can just sort of find your way there. That's what I was trying to do. Yeah. There we go. Oh, right. Duh. Ukabak. Uh, 
I imagine Ukabak's uh, soul works here. No, it does not. Okay. Alright, uh, back to Avedon, just so I can have these guys freaking... Ugh. No, 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 damn it. Uh, whatever. Let's try heading. <laughs> That's a lot of fish. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of man. It's a lot of smackerels. A lot of mackerels. <laughs> Look at all them clams. Yeah, when you get to a safe point, you might want to, uh, at least try out the homunculus one, because it's... It's actually something. Yeah. I mean, saying it like that, it sounds like I'm... overhyping it, but it's... It's, it's interesting. You know what? Uh, while it's fresh in my mind, let's go ahead and do it here. Uh, it's a red soul... There it is. Homunculus. <laughs> okay, that's cute. <laughs> oh, it's one of these doors. There was another one in the, uh... There was another one in the uh, clock tower. All right. Uh. Uh, I love being able to just clear out a whole room of enemies with no problem. Uh, of course. Oh, come on. Appearing right in the spots where I'm about to jump. There we go. Freaking ghosts. Alright, bat. And. Locusts just tore through that thing. Alright, what's in this area? Okay, so this is another section of the Lost Village. Wait, hello, what's down here? Okay, this one leads to... Ah! Okay, okay, okay. Um... Let's just get a couple mined up in there. Oh! Nope! I 
did not want to get. Which was driving me crazy. Okay. Uh, UMA News number four. What do we have here? With great regret, we announce that this is our final issue. Aww. Well, I mean, there's only three secret souls in the game, so... Yeah. Oop. A neck warmer. Oh, yeah, speaking of, did you get, um... Mothman? Uh, I did. Cool. Uh, as I recall, he is a yellow soul. Yeah, because I think he doubles XP gain, or he at least boosts it. Uh, also, you missed, missed a spot down there. Did I? Yeah, no, the, that's because of a, a certain door that, uh, it's one of those, uh, it's one of those slot number doors. And it would take way too long to get the right number. Or I could just look it up. <laughs> no, the, it specifically says on the door it's supposed to have 666, and I was at, like, 460-something. Hmm. I forget if it has something to do with how many enemies I kill, or if it has something to do with how many coins I, how much money I picked up. Oh, actually, it's supposed to be seven 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 by the looks of it. That was the one in, um, that was the one in the Garden of Madness. Huh. Okay, so this one's supposed to be six six six. Okay. And there was one in the clock tower, which has a different number. I forget exactly what that number is right now. 537. That's the one. Because I just looked I, I just looked up 666 door, and then something popped up about the number doors. Yeah. Let's see. I've got the three Okay, seven, so the gold seven. ring is behind the 666 door. What does the gold ring do again? Uh... Let's just... I'm gonna take a guess and say it has to do with making money, but let's see. Oh yeah, for oh yeah, money making. Yeah, and it mentions finding the gold ring. It doesn't uh, okay. mention what it does, but yeah, I'm. All right. And then using Black Panther to blast through things, but yeah. Let's see. All right, I think we're at a good stopping point. So, let's see. Who are we going to raid, and what are we going to raid with? Oh shit, I wish I had remembered this when you started this stream, because if you if you start the game with a copy of Castlevania Aria of Sorrow, you start off with a rare ring, along with some bonus items. And what does that do? Uh, well, if the gold ring's any indication, I'm guessing it increases rare drops. But Would make yeah, sense. cause I'm getting it off of what? All right. Uh... Yeah, rare ring. Let's see. Yeah, a ring that raises the appearance of rare items. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Along with some other bonus items. I don't know what those are, but yeah, well. <sighs> You know what? I made the reference. Hmm? Okay, well, what's behind the 537 door? Let's see. We're gonna reference, uh, that's it. I'm moving to Sparta. Uh, 
Let's go ahead and raid Pink Kitty Rose, who is currently playing Doom 2 Hell on Earth. So that should be fun. Oh, no, that she's not actually playing the game. She's, uh, she's uh, making a map. So that's going to be even more fun. It's nice and chill and everything. That reminds me, at some point, I should probably get back into um, Mega Man 8-Bit Deathmatch. Alright. Why? Okay, so... Um, there is going to be an evening stream hopefully if I don't get called into work again and I might finally get the chance to start on Final Fantasy 3 <laughs> because it seems anytime I try it's either a technical issue or I get called in for something well at least I hopefully fixed the technical issue this time uh I, I still would love to know why that zip file had so many ROMs in it, but um, I think I figured out which one is the proper I think, one. I think, I think that's because of that's the way the website does it, where it's like if you have the zip file, then it has all the different ROMs in all the different languages, quote-unquote. Hmm. But in the one I got, I had trouble finding the right one. So, Well, funny enough, the reason I was able to find that one... well. You know what? I meant. I think I'll mention it during the stream because it, it's kind of funny. Yeah. But yeah. All right. All right. Anyway, let's go ahead and raid. Yeah. 